Hello, it's Mr. N here, and I thought I'd go over a couple of these problems because you're going to see them in your homework and on the test and how we're going to do this. Here's problem one, and you see all of this stuff, and it says write each of the following expressions as a single term. There's some other variations on those directions, but pretty close. And let's start with this first example right here. We have all these sines and cosines, and we do notice a few things that 22 shows up in two spots and 13 degrees shows up in two spots. So I could call this like say angle A, 22 is like angle A, and 13 is a different angle B. And then that kind of will look similar to these formulas because it's a sine of A times a cosine of B, and which one of these formulas has it? And it looks like it's this one, sine of A times cosine of B plus, and I do have a plus there, cosine of A, plus the sine of b. And sure enough, this expression turns out to exactly match what we see right here in the sine of a plus b formula. So since it is an exact match, this is really just the same thing as the sine of a, and my a angle was 22, plus my b angle, which was 13. And of course, uh, 22 plus 13 is just 35. And you don't even really need the parentheses, it's just the sine of 35 degrees, and that is a single term. And so you're done. You don't actually have to find what the sine is, we're just asking you to simplify a long expression into a single expression. And from there on, you could use a calculator if you needed, or if this is all we're asking, you just leave your answer like that. You are now finished with this problem, all right? So using a similar rule, let's do the same thing here with example two, all right? So here, Pi, we have pi over three showing up in two places, so I'll call that angle A. And pi over four shows up in two places, I'll call that angle B. So it's like the cosine of A times the cosine of B plus the sine of A plus the sine of B. And if I look here, um, this one has sines and cosines mixed together, then they're the same, cosine, cosine, sine, sine. This has sine and cosine mixed. So it's not this one, it's not the second one. This has cosine A and B, all right, times A, but it's minus, and I want a plus, so I go down one more, and right here, cosine of A times the cosine of B plus the sine of some angle A times the sine of angle B. This one is my match, and it's the shortcut for cosine of A minus B. And my A angle is pi over three, so that, because that's my A angle, minus the B angle, which is pi over four. And so that's writing it in one term. Now actually, I can work that out with, I can get a common denominator and make it the cosine of four pi over 12 minus three pi over 12. And that will work out to the cosine of pi over 12. And again, I don't really even need the parentheses, it's just the cosine of pi over 12, and that is my final answer. I have written all of this as a single term, and that's where I can stop. That is all I need to do, and so that's it. So it's just recognizing that if you have two angles, you can call them both A, and if two other angles match, you can call them both B. It doesn't really matter which one you call A or B, but usually the first angle we see is A, and the second one is B, just to keep everything lined up. Right? And then just notice if it matches one of the patterns here. We didn't do a trig example, but you could do the same thing for tangent, or a, a tangent example, I should say, and you could do the same thing in tangent. Now I have one final example down here, which has it in of x's. So I have the sine of x and 2x, and it's not just numbers. And this is x and 2x. So those are two different expressions. I'll still pretend that's my first angle, and it does show up in two places, and 2x is my second angle. So this is still the sine of A times the cosine of B, some angle times another angle, and then the same angle as the first one, the cosine of A times the sine of B. So I have to see which one this matches. I have sines and cosines mixed together, so it's probably one of the first two. They're being subtracted, so it seems to be this one, the sine of A minus B.
I am the sine of A minus B. So that means it's the sine of my A angle, which is X, times my B angle, which is negative 2X. And I can combine those terms, sine of X minus 2X, just the sine of negative X. And if the X is negative, traditionally we do leave the parentheses around it. So that would be my final answer. Now, um, I am happy if you stop there, I would give you full credit on the test. There does happen to be another rule that we actually haven't gone over, but you might see in some other books, that it turns out the sine of some uh, negative angle X is the same thing as the negative sine of the positive. And so these two boxes are the same thing for sines. It works a little differently for cosines and tangents. Um, so this is another rule. It's, um, sometimes they call it the negative rule or the opposites rule. Uh, and that's how it works out for sine. It turns out for cosine, if you have the cosine of a negative x, that just turns out to be the same thing as cosine of x. The negative just goes away. Um, there's reasons for this. It kind of has to do with the graphs, all right? If you graph sine, right, sine goes opposite. Whatever's up here is down here. So the opposites continue. But if you graph cosine, whatever's up here, its match is in the same spot. So when you go to the negative side, you're in the same spot over here. This is the positive side and the negative side, right? Positive and negative. These are positive one. All these are positive numbers. All these are negative, right? So that's why those are the same, because they're the same y value. If you go from a positive x to a negative x, you have the same y value. But here, if you go from a positive x to a negative x, it ends up switching sign. Uh, that's just the rule y. You don't have to memorize this. We haven't gone over this in a lot of detail, but it is something that some books and the book mentions and some uh, other websites mention. So I just want to throw that out there. But again, I am fine if you leave your final answer like this. All right. Hope that helps you for some of these.